This video, we will be listing the different 3D printing processes currently available in modern 3D printing. The International Organization for Standardization, ISO, has identified seven different processes for additive manufacturing under the international standard ISO ASTM 52900, which relates to additive manufacturing, general principles, and terminology. Those seven processes are different based on how the layers for the objects are put together to form our final printed objects. Those seven processes are as follows. Material extrusion, MEX, VAT photopolymerization, VPP, powder bed fusion, PBF, binder jetting, BJT, direct energy deposition, DED, material jetting, MJT, and finally, sheet lamination, SHL. Each of those processes is unique in that it enables 3D printing objects with specific features and advantages like specific material, strength, or fine details. This uniqueness makes each more suitable for specific and unique applications. Under each of those processes, we can find different technologies that were invented, owned, and commercialized by different companies and people. Let's take a couple of examples of what is under some of those processes. For example, Fused Deposition Modeling, FDM, is the most known and widest spread 3D printing technology utilizing the material extrusion process. Stereolithography, SLA, is another known 3D printing technology that is utilizing the process VAT photopolymerization. Under the same process, there are other technologies like digital light processing, DLP, and continuous digital light processing, CDLP. Each of the other processes have a number of different technologies that utilize it. The number of those specific technologies is continuously growing in both numbers and what they can accomplish. And in this course, our focus will be more in the process level rather than the technology level. So let's take a brief look into each of those processes and what we can expect from them. One note to keep in mind though, is that most of the processes as well as the technologies used are mainly confined to industrial and high-end commercial users. Thus, we won't be expecting to find them in our local community spaces. However, as we are diving deeper into 3D printing, it is invaluable for us to have a solid understanding of the overall landscape of 3D printing. This understanding will help us identify which 3D printing technology we should use in different scenarios and add the most value to our own endeavors and that of our organizations. And so we will briefly talk about each of those processes to know what they are and what they can offer. 